Hello, this is a solenoid valve and the purpose of this film is to show you how to service them should they need it and how they work. There are two basic types of solenoid valve. This one which works from zero pressure and is ideal if you have gravity fed uh, water or oil, fuel say from a tank uh, and you want the solenoid valve to stop and start the flow. This one which is a uh, pilot operated for high flow which needs a half a bar differential and so is ideal for mains water, pumped uh, supply, pressurised air, that sort of thing. Taking the zero rated valve first, this one is a PU220 manufactured by the Shaco company and distributed by Connection Developments, my company that I work for and uh, this one is ideal for gravity fed water or low pressure applications. And now I'll take it to pieces and show you how it works. First of all, we will remove the coil so that we can get at the valve. It's important to make sure that this coil is not energised when you remove it, because if it is, it could uh, burn out. It needs to be on the valve when it's energised. It's an electric coil. It comes in all sorts of voltages from 12 volt DC to 300, 440 volt AC. And the purpose of it is to cause a magnetic current which will uh, draw a piston up inside the valve here and make it work. I'll now remove the bolts that hold the valve together and you'll see that the valve will come apart into two sections and the uh, operating parts are of course inside. If I carefully lift this apart you will see that there is a flexible diaphragm in here and a plunger and, a sp and two springs. One spring in the end to push it downwards and one holding the diaphragm and the plunger together so that when you operate the coil the magnetic field pulls this plunger up inside like that and therefore lifts this di flexible diaphragm from its seat. There is the seat of the diaphragm and there is an o-ring on here which uh, uh, helps it to seal off properly. Like that. And this little spring just helps keep it down tight. The media, water or air or whatever you like, goes in the direction of this arrow in this particular manufacturer. So it goes in there and comes out here. And as you can see looking in there, the, the uh, media, water or air or whatever you, you, you want to use, comes in there, comes over the top of there, down there and out of here. So obviously if this seal is over the top of that like that and it's pressed down lightly, it can't open. And what happens is that the uh, media uh, will actually come through a very, very small hole here in the diaphragm. It's important that that hole is uh, not blocked up by anything. And the pressure applied through that little tiny hole holds this diaphragm down tightly onto its seat so that nothing can pass through it. When you lift this plunger it first of all reveals a small hole here in the centre and that as you can see there and that allows the uh, media water or air whatever uh, to uh, enter through that hole and allows this diaphragm to be raised up if it's very low pressure then the action of this piston and the spring will lift it from its seat. The more pressure you have, the quicker it acts because it, as it lifts it reveals this hole and that pushes the diaphragm up very quickly. So that's how that works. The only way that this can go wrong is if this little hole is blocked or this tiny one here is blocked. Can you see that? That one? Or in fact, if the tube here is either filled with something, got some foreign bodies in it, or it's bent, 
or something is restricting the travel of this plunger up the tube like that when you switch it on. It's important that this diaphragm is clean and there's nothing around the diaphragm that uh, gets between the diaphragm and its seat and this o-ring isn't missing. So put that back together now and replace the coil and its retaining nut and you'll see that on the side of the coil there is a plug uh, into which you can feed the, the uh, cable for electrical operation. Valve and uh, it's um, got its part number on the side here as you can see. In this particular case because this valve is zero rated works from zero pressure it's called a PU220. 22 meaning it's two ported two position open or closed two ported in and out and two position open or shut and uh, so 220 and uh, any voltage you like as I said earlier. The valve is a pilot operated valve and you'll notice that the coil and its uh, plunger arrangement is not in the centre as the previous one was but it's over the exit port and you can see the direction of travel by this arrow here so that the media comes in here and goes out of here. If you take this valve apart you should make sure that this coil is over the outlet port not over the inlet port otherwise it won't work. It works. So first of all I'll take the coil off like that and then we take the nuts, the bolts out and uh, this, idea, this is ideal for mains water, pumped supply, air, pressurised air, anything like that but you do need a half a bar differential. Now if I take that apart you'll see that there's no plunger in the centre of this one, it's just it's quite different to the other one and what you have here is a light spring which holds this which is the seal down so if I take that spring off and you'll see it goes on with its wide side wide end downwards like that and the seal simply pulls off and again you'll see that uh, it simply sits on that face there and seals around there this little ear goes into that neat little place there, bit there, and you'll see that the hole, the pilot hole we call it, is in there. And it's also in the seal, there's a very small hole here, which uh, the effect of that is to allow the uh, valve to uh, stay closed when it has pressure in it, because the pressure will come up through this little tiny hole and just keep that valve nice and shut. And this spring initially just make sure it does close when you switch it off. The pressure going in here opens this valve by means of this tube and in this tube is a plunger the same as the similar to the last one you saw and that plunger has a seal on it and it sits over that hole there. So when you lift the plunger, air coming through in and up through this hole is allowed to go through that one and come out there. And that means that it will <laughs> allow the pressure to uh, equalise between the two, the top and the bottom of the seal, and it will just pop up. And that is why we call it pilot operated, because it's the pressure of the media that makes it work. But make sure that there are no foreign bodies on here that this little hole, that's this little tiny one here, is free and that there's nothing here on the seat that's holding the seal off its seat properly otherwise it could leak. If you have a solenoid valve that you think for some reason isn't working just switch it on and off and you should hear a click like that every time you switch it on and off there's the plunger going up and down inside. I hope you found that useful and uh, don't forget, you can always look at the catalogue online. It will show you all the solenoid valves you'll want. And there are not just two, two and uh, these two. There are lots and lots of different types. They come in stainless steel and uh, brass and plastic and just about everything. So whatever your application is, we'll have spent a suit. Quite easy, really. All you need to do is to ring us.
or look at our website www.solenoidvalvesuk.com.